Okay, we're going to talk about command line video remixing. So this is sort of blurred, two videos on top of each other. This has sound as well. The sound is layered. And then this one has these sort of slices on it. It's two videos, audio on top of each other. And then this last one is four, has four, four separate videos playing in the four different frames. Um, and so we'll talk about how to make those with free command line tools. And those are FFmpeg, Socks, and, oh, sorry, Image Magic. Not zoom down, Image Magic, Socks, and FFmpeg. All right. Okay, if you have this Firefox add-on video download helper, you can go to YouTube or any other video site and you can say click on a video and you can pause it, you don't have to play it. And then up at the top, there'll be this little sort of spinning thing and you this pull-down menu and you can download this. And uh, it'll download the FLV file or if you do this HQ18 maybe. This is the MP4 file. Right? This is your movie. Whatever. Okay, so that's saving. Now once you've got that, you come over here to the command line and you're going to type, which is very hard to see, but this is from a previous movie I already had downloaded. Basically, FFmpeg I. The movie name, same EQ, this is all in the post. And you hit that, and that what happens is now FFmpeg is exporting all the frames. Um, to disk. You wait for that to be done, you can see it counting here, how many frames it's done, etc. Uh, then you're going to run... Um, blurmachine.sh you may only have one dot, that's because I have it up a directory from where I am uh, and this will pause for a while as it does the image magic stuff and that definitely can take a few minutes um, and then it'll run FFmpeg and make things into a movie again so when that command is done you will have a movie with no sound now I'm just going to stop that from going and I'm going to just show you that the line that uh, this FFmpeg line here um, inputs the mp4 and an mp3 and then outputs another mp4 which is how uh, it doesn't have the direct it doesn't have those files because that was from before but but uh, that will give you um, the file with audio. And so then you'll have your movie. In the script file that you download, you'll notice there's two prefixes at the beginning. You edit these two to probably be A and B. I mean, they're, they're set to G and H now because I did a bunch of movies with them. Um, you start the counter at 10,000. And then this is for F and this is corresponds to this. So this just links back to there. If they have different numbers of frames in the two movies, put the shorter of the two um, or longer of the two depending. And it'll, you know, either stop at the shorter number or do the longer number and not just have one set of frames for the end of the movie when the one movie's run out. Uh, so there's blur is here. And you can uncomment this line by removing this, and then that'll do the blur. This is the slices. Uncomment that line to do slices. This is the sine wave slices here. And both the slices and the sine wave slices require this image, which I have in another directory, and so that's the path to my directory. You'll have to set that path correct for yourself. Um, but this wave gradient PNG or stripes horizontal dot gif. And uh, I have down here at the bottom the sort of the um, 
commands that you use to generate that file. So you use image magic to generate that file. And if you want to generate other options of that, you can see on the image magic page how to do that. And then once it's done that here, it remakes the movie and I have this date string. So if I do the same movie twice, it'll give it a different name. Uh, you don't necessarily need that. Um, and then this is also the command to add audio. So the, and then this is the multi-frame. So sort of everything's in this directory and you just have to, in this script file and you have to comment things in and out to get the effect that you want. Takes a little bit of work, but, but uh, it's pretty straightforward. And the audio instructions for the audio extraction are at the top as well.